Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the basement, basement the, the friendliest, friendliest place, place on, on YouTube. YouTube. We're making progress. We're flying around. We're solving Bible mysteries. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, it's the it's dominoes great. are not falling. Even God not even God. Of death. That's obviously the Psalm Proverbs. twenty-three. Oh yeah, Psalms. What Yay! Those, what oh, I walk through the valley of shadow and death. I'll feel no evil. Yay! <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Dude, he just walked through the valley of the shadow of death. <laughs> Uh, whoever uh, trusts in riches will fail, but he the righteous stayed there. will thrive like a green leaf. Dude, an it's another riches. Peter, another wealth. I've been in the Valley of the Shadow of Death. Oh, yeah? Yeah! Did you fear evil? No! None! None of it! There was this rod and this staff. They comforted me. Oh. <laughs> no, but in reality, though, I've actually been there. That's cool. It's very cool. It's, uh, it's called the Valley of the Shadow. And it was a passage. Oh no! Why did you do? I clicked on that. We already had it. Oh. Oh, we already killed this guy. What? Why? We did. I guess so. You told me to go to this room. It wasn't complete yet. Oh, weird. But then all of a sudden it was. Okay. So, These? gosh, all we have now is that that. Bottom corner one. And yeah. The, yeah, those Timothys. Wait, bottom corner. And the one that we one. can't get to. Sorry, not bottom corner, but like the bottom corner empty one. Yeah. All right, let's go get them. All right, let's go do it. Let's do this. So yeah, it's like a, it's like a, um, it's almost like a canyon. I guess it is a lot like a canyon in the Valley of the Shadow. It's below it was like the level, fastest, isn't it? Uh, I'm not sure about that. But, um, it's on the way, it's like, on the way from Galilee to Jerusalem, so like, if you were gonna go back and forth between the two, cause like, say you had to go do a census or something. <laughs> you know. It was the fastest way to get there, but it was also where like, thieves and stuff like to hang out, because around every corner and stuff, there's like a lot of hiding spaces. Generous people are suckers. Maybe we have this. Hmm. Wait, 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 go back up. Rich Whoever trusts in riches will fall, but the righteous will thrive. Like, mm. It's not exactly generous. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Nope. Content. Hope and wealth. That's not generosity, though. Right. I don't think we have it yet. Okay. Okay, so we need generous <laughs> people <laughs> for this room. Okay. Can you go down from here? Yes, I can. All right. Yeah, we're going to try that one. Let's and we down. could go left from here, and that's another unsolved room. Otherwise, we're going to have to start going to solved rooms and see if they're partially unsolved. Ooh, this guy. You need lots of stuff. Oh gosh, okay. Uh, no. No. Oh wait, Paul! I've learned to be content with little oh. or with much or all that stuff. Yeah, Philippians. Ah, good call. Yeah, baby. Good call with the Paul. That was a Paul call. Put him up, put him up! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm toast. I'm done with bloody green spaghetti. <laughs> He's all like psyching himself up, like, hey, I'm gonna oh, yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, get a oh, I'm gonna. Hello, Captain Bible. I was reading Micah 6 H, There's and he Micah. showed you, oh man, what is good and what does the Lord require of you to act justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with your God. I can't wait to see how he messes this one up. I want to take the truth of Scripture. What truths have you seen in it? Justice, mercy, mercy, and humility are all God requires of us. Not all God requires of us. Right? I'd say I don't think so. Does this mean that the knowledge of how to live has already been given to me by God? Well, that's mm, no. true, but... When we walk with God, we need to keep our head bowed. Yeah, that's what it is. Justice and mercy come naturally. I don't think so. Well... Maybe you have your own meaning, so I'll look for my own meaning. So long. I'll bet it was that first one we rejected. Yeah, it seemed sort of like On borderline. Like, Especially when it was presented first. I know. And you don't like, always get the right one first. Oh, it's you! Will you forgive me? Okay. Well, 
Who cares for okay. Grimace? Take it to heart. All right, what truths have you seen? Are all God requires of us? I yes. mean, yes. Just a minute, I've changed my mind. <sighs> Dude, this guy is a wiffle waffler. Yeah, he's picky. Okay, it's not all God requires of us. It's you. Yeah. Can you forgive me again? Okay. <laughs> we'll try it all over again. You know, I've heard that if you make him forgive you 70 times 7 after that, it's game over. Yeah, you lose. Okay, justice and mercy just come naturally. That can't be it. Yeah, that's that's totally wrong. And justice and mercy are like... Justice, mercy, and humility are all God requires of us. He said... No. He didn't like that last time I said it was yes. Okay. But that's what the verse is, is this is what the Lord requires of you. Right. Does this mean the knowledge of how to live has already been given to me by God? That might be it. Yes. Let's say yes. That's weird. That is Why weird. Why is that it? Oh, I see. I already have it all. God explains to us many times in his word that talking about being good and repenting when we have done wrong is the correct thing to do. However, it is much better if we follow his direction in the first place. This is what he truly wants for us. It almost feels like this is a mismatch. Yeah, a little weird. Wow, that makes sense. Not really. <laughs> huh. That I'd love to Google strange. it, but like, there's no information about this game on Guaranteed. the internet. Guaranteed. <laughs> Except that it's kind of not a fun game <laughs> for most people. Sure. Okay, so we've got Micah 6-8 now. I don't remember where we needed to I put think that. I Micah 6-8 was right above you. It, yeah. It's, but I mean, it's got to be one of these two unless one of these partially solved rooms needs to be completely yeah, solved. Yeah, I think it's the one directly above, if I remember correctly. And then the one on the left. Did we lose faith for... Oh, wait, no. It's the one on the up left from you. Because the one, um, this one requires a money one that you don't have. Oh, generous people. Yeah, it's generous people for that one. And this so we're probably like, going to get that here. Walk humbly, not. Yeah, like a 6 8. Got it. Da -da 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 -da. Oh no! <laughs> 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 that one just like a catastrophically like <laughs> breaks into so many tiny little pieces and then just rolls off of it. Command them to do good, to be, be rich, rich in good deeds, to be generous. generous and willing to share in this way they will lay up treasures for themselves as a I like I age. like people to share with me. Yes. You do work and share fruit of work. Except I'm strong big guy. I do most work and other people get the sharings. Let's get them. Generous people are suckers. Oh, oh yeah? yeah? Bible power. You're about to be obliterated into 9,000 pieces. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing but single <clears throat> pixels after that. Love money is the root of all kinds of evil. Some people eager for money have wandered from faith and pierced themselves with many griefs. That's true. And also earrings are bad pierced too. Pierced themselves with many... Also, piercings are bad, too. <laughs> okay, how do we get here? I wonder if we go left, left, if this is a place we can land now. Oh. Uh. We could try it. We gotta go get more faith anyway. No, we don't. We have plenty. That's where wow. we need to go. Well, what room do we go to, Wait, then? wait, wait, wait. You gotta, like, you gotta land on that platform that's actually on the layer above you. So you need to go left... Why don't you go left? Oh, and go right from down, here. Down, left, get some faith, go up, up, and then right over to the thing. Alright. I guess we've never done that where, like, you would fly across the entire screen. So we've never gotten to see what that platform looks like. Right. We have all the verses now. Which is exciting! That is exciting. Lord, please. Restore my faith! <laughs> yeah, Lord, we didn't, thank you, We didn't even get a... Uh, Amen! We didn't even get a light-up path. True. Same. Butts down. Entre. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Dude, <this clears throat> Taking butts town to butts town. Captain Butts. So, up, up, right. Yeah. Let's we'll see if there's a little platform to land on. <clears throat> I'm uh, a little disappointed we never tried flying right from here before. 
Because it is like the longest flight. There's the door here too. Yeah. Go in the door. So can we fly up from here? Oh, I can't go in the door. So you have to fly up. Here we go. So this is the room we could have actually gone in earlier. All right, boss room. But I don't think it would have. So excited, Peter. Are you excited? I mean, I'm guessing becoming a Christian just means more work. Luke oh, the yoke. Yeah. Nope. Oh, 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 I was wrong. Um, Come to me. It, it is Jesus. Right. 11. That's where it is. 11, 28. Power, power, power! Did you ever play Wolfenstein? Wolfenstein 3D? Captain Bible's face looks like oh, the face yeah. that gets beaten up. That's down over there time. going like, hmm. And it's getting all like bloody over time. Jesus was really king of the Jews. He came humbly without a lot of fanfare. Yeah, Zechariah. well, Zechariah would agree. So I'm guessing behind That's crazy. here we're going to get what was we written need. before Jesus. Yeah. Talked about like a fairy. Oh, money guy. Welcome to my money oh, room. Oh, dude, he's a greed coin. If you need a loan, oh. then oh yeah. Welcome to my money room. <laughs> if you need a <laughs> loan, then you've come to the right place. I don't need money. I just want to talk to you. Sure, I'd be glad to tell you how I made it from rags to riches. <laughs> well, maybe later, but I'd rather talk about how you are doing right now. Oh, I'm doing great now that I'm rich. Uh, I never had to worry about a thing. There's nothing like counting your money to make you feel very warm and secure. You can't trust in wealth to keep you safe and secure. Listen to this. <laughs> you can't trust in wealth to... Okay, let's see here. Keep you safe and secure. No. Yes. yes. So uncertain. Hmm. I don't understand. I think that you're just wasting my time, and my time is money, so please leave now. Oh. I guess that wasn't right. Okay. Wow. Okay. Well, why are you leaving? Well, I want to see what's. I want to see if this lets us enter again now. This down here. Oh. Do you remember this door? No, uh, the door is just a platform. Well, it's just the escape. Maybe that's how you... All right, let's try this again. All right. We got to look through all, like, all the verses. Apparently oh, it's you so. again. Will you forgive me? I'm a coin. I don't have to do any... I don't like that voice. I'm going to try a different one this time. Welcome. Oh, Welcome yeah. to my... <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. Sure, I'd be glad to tell you I made it from rags to riches. Rags. Rags. Maybe later, I'd rather talk about how you're doing right now. Oh, I'm doing great. Now that I'm rich, I'd never have to worry about a thing. There's nothing like counting your money to make you feel very warm and secure. <laughs> you know what this voice is? I do, but I'm... Because <laughs> I'm realizing I'm doing a pretty good job of it. I don't know his name, but he's the mob boss in The Simpsons. Oh, Fat Tony. Yeah. You can't trust in wealth to keep you safe and secure. Listen to this. All right. Uh, No. No. Uh, no. No. So this was our best guess last time. Right, because we saw which is so uncertain. <sighs> mm, uh, no. What are, no. No. Well, maybe, but... Content whatever circumstances. No, I think that might be later on in this conversation. Okay, it's not either of Ramen's those. This is hearing. Hearing. Can't serve both God money. Uh, not later. yet. Nope. Hmm. nope. No, no, no. Maybe, but probably not. That's a little later. No, no. That's Zachariah either. Even though I skipped it. Um, nope. Here we go. Yep. Wait a second. There are plenty of good, righteous Christians out there that have heaps of money. That is true, but I'm talking about the state of your heart, not the size of your wallet. Look at his wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice that. It's dollar bills. When you love money, it can pull you away from God. Loving money causes all sorts of evil in your life. I'll show you. 
Okay, you cannot serve both God and... No, 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 no. It's the love of money is the root of all evil. Oh, right. Uh, that's First Timothy. Yeah, and many griefs. Good call. Can't I put God and money on a sort of equal footing? You know, like make them both my top priority. Yeah, so this is the you cannot serve both God and money. Yes. Uh, is that a... Cannot serve two masters. Luke 16? Where is that? There you go. Good call. Dude, we're getting good. You, you could still, still make money, but God won't share center stage in your life with anything else. So, God wants me to be poor, does he? God may or may not ask you to give up your money, but you need to be willing to do whatever God asks of you. That's a pretty good biblical statement but there. But I just don't know how to live without lots of money. What if I end up going hungry? You have to go to school to learn how to be hungry. You're a stinking coin. Okay, we know that Paul <laughs> said something about it, so that narrows it down. Uh, Probably, actually, don't worry about what you eat and drink. It's, this is probably the Jesus. Well, he said, Captain Bible just said, here's what Paul wrote about that. Oh, he did say that? Yeah. Oh. I mean, Paul wrote 1 Timothy, right? Yeah, but he specifically, in the level, he mentioned this verse was written by Paul. Yeah. When he's oh. talking to the guy. Well, I still say the one who dies with the most toys wins. Now, here's the one where after you die, that's a pretty foolish saying. Listen, I'm glad they put it up here. Because there's something about, um, like, your wealth getting given away after your toast. Yeah, what was that? verse uh, no. it was up ah oh, shoot it's, I think it's Old Testament yeah it might be not any of the second screen ones Bird Eden no 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 oh we know it's not that that or that or oh, that. that's just flying or that or that Maybe it is a psalm. This one. Yeah, leave their wealth to others. All men die and leave their wealth to others. Yep. Psalm 49.10. Well, I suppose that I have been pretty greedy lately. I mean, look at me. I guess that I've pretty much forgotten God, too. Greed. Yeah, it should say, in God we trust. Do you think it's going to change? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Could you tell me what I need to do? Could you tell me? Gave two commands to rich people. Oh. Stop placing your hope and trust in wealth. Place your hope in God alone, and then he'll enjoy all that he gives you. Yeah, stop placing Seek your hope first. and trust in wealth. Place your hope in God alone. Um, That was one of the earlier verses that we got about money, wasn't it? Because this is Paul, again. Right. So this is going to be down in Timothy, I think. Oh yeah, Timothy makes sense. We've already used these. Um, We've already used that one. Probably this. Yep, hope and wealth. Hope and wealth. But put the hope in God. Place your hope in God alone. Yeah, that's it. That's definitely it. Because it says hope and wealth and hope in God in the verse 617. Yeah, I agree. Sweet. Oh, and secondly, be rich in good deeds, generous, willing to share. That's going to be the next one. Yes. Generous and willing to share. Boom. Are you sure that God knows what I need? He sure does. Look at the lilies of the valley. Okay. 631. Uh, yes. Uh. Your heavenly father knows that you need them. Okay, perfect. Knows yep. what I need. That's, yep. Seems very likely. Although it'd be a bummer to drop it now. <laughs> yeah. But if I let go of greed, I won't have any goals to work for. What would I do with my life? Will he take care of me? Okay, is this whoever gives up their life for my sake finds it? If I let go of greed, I won't have any goals. What will I do with my life? Yeah, this is... Uh, it's the one where I let go of your life. Uh, but that's that Jesus said that. Uh... 10 I don't want Matthew to lays no, down his not. life for my sake we'll find it there it is yeah Matthew 16 24 uh, what should I do with my life will he take care of me 
Uh, I don't know. I feel like it would be more obvious than that. There's something that takes that's about like God taking care of us. Uh, we already did the Timothy verses. Do we do this one though? There's three of them. Yeah, willing to share. Oh yeah, we did. Uh, no. Oh oh oh, content. Yeah, goals to work for. Will he take care of me? Being content in every situation, whether we're well fed or hungry, living in plenty or no. Uh, hmm. Da, da. Mm. Come to me weary and burdened, right? Uh, mm. Don't worry about what to say. Seek first. No. What do we eat? What do we drink? The that, the this, the this. Just want to make sure we get the right one here. Yeah, I, I agree. It's better to. It's better to make sure, especially this late in the conversation. I don't think it hurts you all the way back over from the beginning, but. Will he take care of me? Then you will be prosperous and successful. Mm. Boy, I don't know. What would I do with my life? What would I do with my life? I feel like because he's the, the key of that is life. Like, what will I do with my life? I have right. a feeling it's going to be lay down your life for me. We, you'll save it. It's tough, but that's, I think, the closest thing that we've gotten. There, this one. Take up his cross and follow me. Whoever wants to save his life will lose it. He's like, if I let go agree, what will happen? Oh, shoot. Ah, really? Okay. <sighs> Dang. Okay, maybe it was. I think it starts us off a little bit later in the conversation. I don't think we have to redo all of it. You can save in the middle of a conversation, it looks like. Ah, oh, you're back. Did you bring money? <laughs> no, but I'd still like to talk to you. You said that God understands my needs, but I let go of greed. Don't have any goals to work for. Oh, what yeah, they're starting life? us right there. That's <sighs> nice. Woo! Yeah, Thank you. For real. Okay. I mean, maybe it's... It's not that. Uh, agreed. It's probably Maybe not that. Maybe that, but probably not. We haven't used it yet. We've used this. Right, he's asking, if I let go of greed, I won't have any goals. What would I do with my life? Yeah, quick to coral. That's just the fly one. Yeah, it's just for That we needed for flying. There's the furnace. There's Micah. What would I do with my life? Act justly, love mercy, and walk humbly? Well, he's asking, will he take care of me? I right. think that needs to be part of this. Okay, that's the humbly donkey one. Have we used this one yet? We did use that one. Oh! Did we use this? With him? S yeah. I don't think so. Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. All these things will be given to you as well. It would be nice to He'll have that context. Well, we already told him that, so maybe it is implied that there is context. I feel like he'd be worried, but like, what? Do, Let's try it. Let's try it. Will I have enough food and drink? I want to see if I can see the word care or the idea care, and we'll go through the rest. And if we don't, then we'll try Matthew 6.33. Perfect. How about that? Uh, no, that's what to speak. I will give you rest... I don't think he's worried about that. Yeah, we tried this. We tried that, and he didn't like it. Not that. That's no good. That's no good. That's no good. No. Shape yeah, faith, no, no. sword of the spirit. Um, did we try this one first? That was one of the first ones we actually used with this guy. He said, oh, we already Paul did use it. That's said right. said blank, blah, 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 blah. Richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment. Oh, did we use this one yet? See, I thought there were... Th we did... We did use this one, but... He's not giving up his wealth, he's giving up his greed. Right. 
Okay, so it could be Matthew 6.33, it could be 1 Timothy 6.17. Command them to do good, be rich in good deeds, generous, willing to share. In this way they lay up treasures for themselves as a firm foundation in the coming age, that they may take hold of life that is truly life. That, I'm starting to lose track of what we've already done. So we too. did the 16, 17, we, we did 6, we did 17 through 19. We did those for sure. With him? Yep. Because he was like, Paul said two things, and then they like they came in quick succession. It was oh, really obvious. That's right. Uh, okay. Yeah, no. So Matthew six thirty three. That's our best guess at that's, this point. I guess so. Oh, wow. Lord, forgive me for letting money and things substitute for a relationship with you and your people. Please, help me put you first. He's going to become a real person, right? I hope he becomes in God we trust. Oh, should have stayed a coin. <laughs> <laughs> I've been changed. I've been changed. Thank you for showing me the truth. Is there anything I can do to help you? Yeah, we need you to uh, blast we need the, the super Unibot. Bot. <laughs> I need your help with this, the Unibot. For, for free. free. <laughs> Gling! Of course Just for see his free. teeth, like, sparkle. They went, gling! Okay, I'll do it. I'll meet you there. Yeah, baby! Dude, we finished this area. It's amazing. It feels so good. All right. What's Save gonna happen up. now? I don't know. We don't We're gonna have know. to find out next time in the basement. Wait, should we try going through that platform that's just a platform? No. It's just a platform. It's not a beat door. the boss. No, what? No, it's yeah. The the level's over. We beat the boss. It's over. It's, it's weird. Done. There's a door there, and you can't go through it. It's just there because the only other drawing that they had was the one with the broken doors, and you can't land on those. I'm gonna try it. So they just made it so they just made it so the lights aren't on. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Lazy programming. They didn't want to make it just a platform. Art. Yep, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> well, should we go? Should we have our Bible verses stripped from us and see what other? Let's see where we go next. Area is next. Uh, we did just save, so even if it enters us into like a point of no return, we'll be okay. Okay, it might, we might be at the very end. I don't know. Uh, let's just. Mm, it no, looks like we have like two more we areas, this, and then and the we got by. this, and then maybe that's the very oh, this end. Is such a long game. This I love it, but game. it's long. <laughs> All right, why don't you guys vote? Do you want us to go here next, or here next? Uh, a or B? Which one's A? That's A. A? That's B. Or B. I'm leaning B. All right. One or two? Right. Uh, C or four? <laughs> uh, until next time, Basement Dwellers, we think that you are more excited for whatever is going to come next than... The guy who fell off of a boat but landed into a sea of marshmallow... Lucky Charms, Ooh. and suddenly realized this is a really good thing I fell out of the boat. But then he was really excited to find out what would happen next. Ah! In, In the, the basement. basement! Hey, that's it for today's video. If you haven't already and you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button and uh, maybe even consider subscribing to The Basement for more stuff like this. And as always, a huge thank you to our patrons and members and subscribers over on Twitch. You guys make the basement happen, and uh, we couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you very much, and we'll see you guys next time in the basement.